Hi guys, um, today I'm doing a vectors in component form question. I've never done a video on this before, so I thought I'd. Uh, there's a first time for everything. If it helps you guys, let me know and I'll make more of these videos. So basically what we've been asked is we've been asked to express the vector 5i plus 3j as the sum of vectors a and b. So basically what we have to do is we have to find what amount of a plus what amount of b do we have to have to get this end result vector here. So basically to set up this question, what we're going to say is we're going to say the vector 5i plus 3j has to be equal to um, some amount, and we, what we do is we refer to these um, Greek letters of vector a plus another amount of vector b. Now, so what we've got here is we're basically going to be using algebra and simultaneous equations to solve what the amounts of mu and lambda are. So, what we're going to do to start with is we're going to describe vector a and vector b in their component forms in this equation. So we're going to say, well, 5i plus 3j is going to be equal to mu times by 2i plus 3j plus lambda times 4i minus j. So, here we've got our a and b expressed in their component forms, and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the mu and the lambda into the brackets, so we're going to have the constituent amount of each of the components of each vector. So what this is going to do look like is we've got 2 mu i plus 3 mu j plus 4 lambda i minus lambda j. And this is all, e has to, we have to make this equal to 5i plus 3j. So what we're going to do is we're going to then group this new uh, formula or equation that we've just created into the i's and the j's. So now this method is basically the same for any kind of question like this that you'll do. So this is going to be equal to 2 mu i, and we're going to group that with the 4 lambda i, so plus 4 lambda i, and that's going to be added to the 3 mu j, so 3 mu j minus lambda j. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to factorize the front two by i and we're going to factorize the back two by j. So we're going to be left with 2 mu plus 4 lambda. And that's all times by i. Add 3 mu minus lambda times by j. And this has to equal 5i plus 3j. Cool. So what we need to do now is you can see that for this to work, what we've got inside this bracket, 2 mu plus 4 lambda has to equal 5. And 3 mu minus lambda has to equal 3. So you can see that we can set up some simultaneous equations here. So I'll just separate this because that's how we built the equations. Now we're going to 
separate and find two simultaneous equations. So what we'll have is we're going to have 2 mu plus 4 lambda is equal to 5 and 3 mu minus lambda is equal to 3. So now that we have two unknowns, we have two, two linearly independent equations, we can solve for these unknowns. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of the equations in terms of either mu or lambda. Now the easiest one to do algebraically is the second one. So I'm going to make this in terms of lambda. So it's going to be lambda is equal to, so I'm going to move the lambda over, move the 3 over, so I'm going to have 3 mu subtract 3. Now, we're going to be solving these simultaneous equations using the substitution method, so I'm going to now substitute this um, expression for lambda into the lambda in the first function. So what I'm going to get is I'm going to get 2 mu plus 4 times lambda, which is we've worked out is equal to 3 mu minus 3, and that has got to be equal to 5. So now we have an equation that's all in terms of mu, so we can just solve it for mu. So we're going to have 2 mu plus 12 mu minus 12 is equal to 5. What I'm going to do is I'm going to collect my like terms and then move the 12 over the other side. So I'm going to have 14 mu is equal to 17. So mu is going to equal 17 on 14. So after that, we can use this equation to then figure out what lambda is. So taking it up here, I'm going to say lambda is equal to 3 mu, which we've just worked out to be 17 over 14. Take 3. So 3 times 17 is 51. So we've got lambda is equal to 51 over 14 subtract 3. 3 in terms of 14 we're going to have that as being equal to 51 over 14 subtract 3, 4, 12, 42 over 14 and 51 take 42 is 9 over 14 so that's what our lambda is so to final, finalize this equation it's asking us to express the vector 5i plus 3j as the sum of vectors a and b. So we can say that, therefore, so this is our answer, 5i plus 3j is equal to, now, we had mu times vector a, we worked out mu to be seven over four, 17 over 14 times vector a plus we worked out lambda to be 9 over 14 times vector b. So this is the solution. So a brief recap, what we do is we rewrite our vectors a and b as the sum of their components, i.e. the 2i and the 4i, using our uh, parts uh, coefficients, i.e. mu and lambda. What we then do is we then use, we group them into i and j, and then create two equations to which we can solve simultaneously. Once we've solved them, we can then plug them back into the formula 
and we can get our sum of vectors equation at the end. So I hope that helped and I'll see you again next time.